All right, guys. I ain't real great in the urban survival aspect. I work in a really urban area in the city, so I'm trying to get better there. I was watching a video this morning uh, about an urban go bag, something you keep when you're in the city. Uh, trying to get better with that. Trying to learn a few things. Well, I seen one this morning. Actually, I seen a couple videos this morning where they were talking about how you need tools for cutting fencing and stuff like that. Um, having a set of bolt cutters, pry bar, different things, you know. Great to have. Could cause you some problems. Simple little tool like this. It's a fencing tool. Run you about 15 bucks. I'll put a link in the description to it. Uh, it's a farming tool. This one's old. I use this one all the time. I've got a little farm, so, you know, always have fences going down, trees falling on fences, stuff like that. Always keep this in my truck. This one's kind of wore out. It's not shiny anymore. Still works great, though. Had a lot of use out of it. It's cut a lot of fencing. Uh, standard cattle fence is about the same as a chain link fence, something of that nature. So, guys, I'm going to show you how this thing works. This will replace your bolt cutters for the most part. Uh, it's got a pry bar, you got your hammer, all in one, and it'll even a little pair of pliers. So with this, you can do 90% of what you can with a pair of bolt cutters. These days, locks are reinforced, so you're not gonna be able to cut through locks very much with bolt cutters anyway. Uh, they have cut proof locks these days. Uh, so chances are you're gonna be cutting the fence around the lock or something like that. What I got here, guys, I got three different types of fence here. Standard little hog fence, uh, real lightweight. But these have a cutter right here on both sides. And it'll just cut right through. Little little fencing like this, great. Cuts it, no problem, perfect. Next guys, I got your standard barbed wire here. Uh, this is just a small little piece that I've took out. I don't use barbed wire anymore, but it was here when I bought the place and I just have some scraps laying around. This is about the same as a razor wire or something like that if it's a civil unrest situation. Uh, this will cut right through it, no problem. You know, bolt cutters, they're great for cutting heavy gauge stuff, but as far as light gauge goes, sometimes they won't cut exactly perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up that piece of barbed wire. I gotta bring my animals here in a few minutes and I don't want them getting anywhere near that. So, next guys, standard cattle fencing. All right, small piece here. This first wire is always bigger, it's a higher gauge. Um, but these things go through it almost no problem. I mean, cuts right through it and then you can work your way down real quick. No problems, guys. These are really great tools to have around. I keep this one in my truck all the time. It's old. Uh, it's had a lot of use. You know, but this is a farming tool. And one thing, guys, this is pretty discreet. Somebody sees this, they're not exactly going to know what it is. You know, they're going to think, well, that's kind of hammer. You know, I don't know. If you got a bag with a pair of bolt cutters in it, a pry bar, a hammer, you know, if it's cold and you got a ski mask in there, <laughs> you might have some questions if your vehicle gets searched and you have it in your vehicle. You just throw this in there, or you can put this in a go bag. Uh, they won't know what it is, so they won't ask you too many questions. Uh, last thing you want is to get a, some kind of burglary or a robbery. Uh, stuck with you. So if you got this and a good fixed blade knife, you can cover most of your bases. Like I said, guys, you can't cut through most locks these days anyway, especially industrial locks that are reinforced. So, uh, cutting locks is not something you should be doing anyway. Where I'm from, you never want to cut somebody else's fence, but in an urban situation, this may save your life. It's small, it's compact, it weighs a pound, and it runs about 15 bucks for this. A pair of bolt cutters could be anywhere up to $60 for a good set, even a small set. Um, that's about all I got for today, guys. Uh, not too much here. Look into getting these. I'll put a link in the description.